Good morning, and welcome to uh, this Sunday edition of Story Hour with Davey Wavy on National Public Radio. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Good morning. Um, <laughs> so I have a story to share with all of you, and it's an old story, uh, but it's a story with a good lesson. Um, and it takes place probably in 1990 or so. I was like seven years old. And I was just recovering from a cold, and I had been home for a few days. And Chipotle, stop. I was home for a few days, and um, I was just starting to get better. And my dad was taking care of me, and there was a hurricane out at sea. Chipotle. <laughs> She's very uninterested in the story and isn't paying attention. Um, there was a hurricane out at sea, and I really wanted to go see it. I was a bit uh, obsessed with weather, still am, particularly natural disasters. So I wanted to see the big waves of the ocean. So I begged and begged and begged and begged and begged. So finally my dad said, okay, I'll take you to the beach. So we go to the beach, we're in the car, and we're looking at the waves, and they're pretty big, and the, be the beach is all like torn up and everything, and it was really cool. And so I was like, well, we need to go outside and look at it. My dad's like, okay. So we go outside and look at it, and I want to walk along, like, a along the water for a little bit. So my dad's holding my hand, and we're walking along the water, and I'm pulling him like, closer and closer to the waves. So our shoes come off, and... I'm pulling him, I'm pulling his hand closer and closer and closer and closer to the water. And uh, then we're like up to our ankles in the water. And I mean, the waves out further out at sea were really big. And then like we were up to our knees and I'm still pulling him and pulling him and pulling him. And he's talking to me and I look over and I see this absolutely giant wave uh, coming, like a huge wave, like an effing like tsunami. And <laughs> I bolt. I'm gone. <laughs> I go running up the hill, up the, the beach. And, uh, and I'm, like, looking back at my dad, laughing. And this giant wave comes. And, um, I mean, he was, like, in water up to above his chest, potentially even, like, <laughs> to his neck. I guess in, in, in hindsight, I'm lucky he didn't get, like, swept out to sea and die. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Oh, I thought it was so funny. And then I look, and the wave is still coming. <laughs> so I'm running as fast as I can, and the wave is still coming after me. So <laughs> finally I get up the like slope of the sand and everything, and there's like a small puddle, maybe like a 10-foot wide puddle at the top. And I go, and I'm laughing at my dad, and I go to run across the puddle. And I step into the puddle, and lo and behold, the puddle is like four or five feet deep. <laughs> and I disappear boop, right into the puddle. And my dad came running after me, laughing. And he said all he could see was just like the, like an air bubble that was created by the shirt that I was wearing. Um, and so he pulled me out of the puddle and, uh, and I was crying. <laughs> I was so upset. And my dad thought it was funny because um, I was laughing at him when he got wet. And then, and then I got mine. It's a very good example of uh of karma so i guess the lesson is what goes around comes around my yoga professor uh used to say that the universe is the perfect accountant and that no debt goes unpaid for better or for worse so and i think it makes sense if you go around life screwing people over then you know no one's gonna hold out a helping hand when uh when you need it so and I also don't think in, in every case that it's as instant, the karma, as, as it was that day on the beach. But it's a, uh, a good example, nonetheless. Um, so thank you for joining us for this edition of Sunday Morning Story Hour on NPR Radio. Join us again next week. <laughs> I'm going to go to the gym, bitches. Uh, but have a, uh, or I should say, create a beautiful Sunday because today will be what you make it. Um, and that's all I have for you on this lovely morning. Peace out, vlog buddies.